hello guys welcome to capt tutorials today i am going to cover how this uh, angular applications and spring boot applications can talk to each other over http protocol um, so what i did is here uh, i have just done one separate angular application and one more spring boot application uh, and this spring boot applications with you know uh, oauth oauth authorization servers and uh, having some rest endpoints which will fetch the employees from the database save the employees some you know delete and update that part and from the database and this is the spring boot application and i am displaying all those all the data in this web angular application so today we go, we are going to see how that work so if you notice uh, now uh, okay now i am going to a demo part how our you know how our application work yeah guys this is my uh, angular of five applications which i have taken from this you know uh, uh, from this quick start so before you if you are a beginner to the angular guys you have to just install node node.js that is a prerequisite to run this angular and you have to install cli of angular then once you install this then just go to the directory and just do ng new your project name then that project will create it after once that project is created then go to that project directory and just run ng serve then your app will up on the port on the default port you know call 4200 so let's go to our application so if i refresh yeah yep error this error is because i have to provide token guys i am using oauth so it's not allowing me to uh, take the protected resource so so that what i will do i will just get the token from the backend i will just copy this token and i will just quickly update that older one i think that is in service yeah because of this it's not taking so yep yeah now the token got loaded and i have fetched then my application fetched one the record so here what we will do is you know detail of you know employees i am i have done detail you know de delete and some add of the application so some basic things i am i have done here so now i will going to the coding part this is uh, this is just you know guys i have just covered some uh, basic operation like uh, listing of employees you know detail you know delete of that employees so, so that basic part i have done in this application so i don't want to you know dig deeper to make the complexity so just anyone a beginner can understand what is the exactly happening in the code so if you notice guys my backend is also running here if you check here my backend is running if you have gone through my previous oauth 2 tutorial then you will understand uh, so what i have did is that code i have you know i am here running that jar that's it so my backend backend is up on the port 9990 so I, I mean triple double line double line not zero double line double line so my backend is up here spring boot backend so now i am here not going to explain that all i yeah, for this you have to check my previous video in that video i already explained guys so uh, see if you notice you can see the list of you know employees in this postman as well see guys here as well you can see so I have to just pass see if I don't pass the token so I will get full authorization is required that was 
the OAuth 2 job is. So now I will quickly run through the code. Okay. Basically, you know, guys, I have just divided this screen into three parts. One is sidebar part and another is top bar. This three, this two I have kept separated and these two I have just included. So I will going to show how that I have done. Just a second guys. Okay guys, then now I will going to explain that four, three operations which I have did. I will explain through code. So let's see first how this list is list are fetching so if you go to my code so I already explained just now I have divided this code in three part so see if you notice I have some menu called menu directory in that menu directory I have sidebar and top bar what I have done is in sidebar I have just included that sample sidebar code that you can see the sample project and this list employee and if you notice here in you know in top bar that uh, top bar this welcome logger this is just default message i just providing here so this top bar and all this in content so let's see how this employees list are coming so if you go okay guys before that i will just explain the basic how um, angular work so in angular we have called something component module and services service so if you are going to use any component or any more uh, service so you have to register in in module in app.module.ts this is the main module here we have to register like this let's say if i am if i am using employee component see if you notice i have used employee component sidebar component toolbar component that all i have declared here if i see if i use the employee service then i have provided that service in uh, providers guys I, guys I have used some extra comp extra component like extra modules this toaster modules so i don't want this uh, toaster module uh, means uh, that is for just you have you seen some messages in the top right screen so for that i have used ng2 toaster module so if you notice here auth guard as also my actually my plan was to go with complete login once the user login to get the token then into their application then later i thought so it's so later i thought that okay no i will just keep the simple no complexity in the app so in next video probably i will cover how with the login and all storing the token in the local storage like that like that i will cover so okay now i am going to yeah i have used one more guys i have used one routing also that is employee so if you notice here i am by default employees by routing with hash routing so the, that routing is i have already included in my app.module.ts and if you notice guys here material module.ts these are actually i was i am using here angular material so if you see this fancy design this all card and this all buttons these forms actually these are angular related things uh, angular material things so for that i just declared this file and i am using if, if you want to use this angular material so you just go to angular material there you will find quick start you have to install some related component related modules then you can install okay yeah let's see how employee fetching so for example if i go to i think in share there is nothing guys i have just kept one toast option that animation something part mm, that's all i am not doing any other extra uh, yeah global ts this is here in this typescript file i have just keep kept my you know uh, endpoint path so where i can access my spring boot i mean uh, web services resources so now i am going to employee so i will start from employee component 
so if you notice guys here uh, in constructor i am not using ng init you can also use ng init just implement that ng init and you can do this stuff in ng init form so as the constructor is loaded i am just calling the load employee guys if the load employee call i have a service i have employee service here in service what i have is load employee method i am in this custom method in this method you know i am just calling one endpoint employee with an with http get so this is this just i just i kept very simple guys i don't want to use that observer and all though so it's again confusing uh, for a freshers i mean the for the beginners you can you can check that also so what i uh, yeah this just call this endpoints by passing the bearer token so we have now see once this call then we have the subscribe if we get the response then uh, 200 status then this part get executed otherwise if you have error then it will say some error some 401 or some 500 something went with the back end once this load i am just assigning uh, this no this class level variable with a name with this employees i am just assigning the response whatever came and that response i have just converted to json now what i am doing is in employee html i am just doing one for loop for loop ng4 and i am just printing all the message all the details where you can see here and uh, if this is what the list okay now i will just say detail so what i have done is i have just i have one div here if the employee object is not null that this div will be visible with the help of this ng view here i am here once if you click this detail i have just passed this employee object and that employee object i have assigned to the class level employee object then this employee will get then this div will get you know visible here i am just printing the detail with the help of employee first name employee middle name last name something whatever the variables i have and uh, if you go to if you go to this uh, create i have i i am using this reactive form I am not using any validations right now for this. So, um, Angular form. So, reactive. If you check here, what I have done is reactive form. I have just imported some form variables core component and I have just initialized them with this detail form group name with this group i have just creating some variables i am just passing if you give here comma validator require something then that will act as a required variable so yeah this form got initialized i am loading this form immediately in the constructor so as soon as the class loaded that as soon as this file get executed those this method get called so we have this three variables I mean four variables if you notice here in angular html if you notice here cng form whatever the form name i have given there then these are the four na variable names first name last name middle names so i have ng submit if you as soon as you click on ng submit as soon as you click on ng submit then this method get executed called save employee in the component yep save employee in the component again i have uh, i am calling the service save student uh, i think this is a uh, got renamed guys okay save employees then that method get how this student i think i have to check save student okay guys this is just a rename problem i think i am calling this end end point with save i think just this method problem method name problem you can you can make it as a save employee yeah as soon as you click on this save here you know we are here okay the save 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 employee method got executed once the response is got i have just printed this method employees added and i have just 
this api i have just set false that visibility of the dead uh, visibility of the div is i have made it as hidden then I again i have call, again i have loaded my employees here same way guys delete also same ways if you notice here delete if you go to that list see delete i am passing just employee id so in component i have delete see I, again i have called the backend delete method here yes if you pass this this method delete method got executed so as soon as this method got executed as soon as this method got executed again i am trying to load the temp details with the message that deleted see this this deleted i think i don't have any record so it's went if you check in postman now you will get the empty list use token ok send cmt list yes guys i think i hope you have some i hope you have some ideas yeah i think i have to tell one more thing this is the backend guys which i am running this is my spring boot jar file i am just running this jar file here so no need to confuse how this very i have not opened that apply actually backend in any ide so i am just running that jar so if you check my previous video you will get some idea i think guys i have done with with this uh, with this agenda i think if you have any doubt about this or if you are facing any problem while executing this while while running this code both back end as well as front end guys don't uh hesitate me to ask the questions you just write me in comments and all i will i i i will try to reply as many as possible and uh, yeah about the source code guys i have kept my i will I, I will always keep my all the source code in my git repositories you can check i will i, I, will, I will just provide that gitlab link in the, in the you know in in, in the comment uh, in the description of this video Hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you guys.